This video shows how to create a SQL Server data model from an Oracle data model using Spark Systems Enterprise Architect. Enterprise Architect supports more than just Oracle and SQL Server. Postgres and MySQL are included, and this procedure will work for any pairing of databases. I'm starting with a contact table and an address table. The contact table is a parent such that a contact can have many addresses and that relationship is enforced in a foreign key. In order to convert this to SQL Server, I go to my project browser and in the Oracle data model, I copy the elements to clipboard, select the package that I'm associating with my SQL Server data model, right click and select paste elements from clipboard. Then I drag them onto the canvas. I'm using control Q to bend, put a break in the lines so that I can format this display a little bit better. Now, in order to convert this to a SQL Server table, it's now an Oracle table, just in a different location. I hit Alt Enter, it brings up my Properties panel, and I select SQL Server 2008. And you'll notice that the types are SQL Server types now. Do the same with my address table. Now, type conversion wasn't quite perfect because what I really want in my uh, model for SQL Server is I like my identity columns to be a um, of type int rather than a decimal. And I also have to set in column properties the auto num to true. And that's going to give me an identity marking on the generated DDL. 